have your perfect ranch truck. Now, it's time to protect it. Let's get into it. Okay, so, in all seriousness, mind the plane noise is behind me. In all seriousness, you don't really need a ranch rifle to protect your truck. What a ranch rifle really is for is the protection of you and primarily the livestock in which you manage. And today we're gonna to be looking at uh, two of my preferred ranch rifles and ultimately my ranch rifle, the one I ultimately take with me and what I prefer and some of the reasons why I chose it. We're gonna be looking at the different abilities for that I need a ranch rifle to perform. Now this AK pattern rifle performs very well for those needs. So without any further ado, let's jump into the importance of a ranch rifle or truck gun. So before we get into the points of what led me to choose these two, or one of these two guns as my top preferred ranch gun, let's actually take a look at why you should have one. Like I said, it's primarily due to protect the livestock you have from different predatory animals, primarily bears, wolves, coyotes, fox, and to do that effectively. As well, it's also a nice option to have for hunting and taking uh, medium-sized game animals such as deer or even up to moose. Now we're going to take a look at the three key elements for what, for what made me choose this AK pattern rifle over anything else. Um, <clears throat> So now let's jump into that. So there's, so there's three key points to why I ended up choosing a ranch rifle and or why I ended up choosing the AK pattern as a ranch rifle. So the first key point is portability and regardless to what gun you go with, when you're working within the confines of a truck cabin, portability is a very big key point because you need to have a gun that's not large or cantankerous so that you can move it pretty easily within the confines truck cabin and grab it in a express manner because if you get to a point and you see that one of your animals is in danger it's important to just grab the gun and get out of the truck as fast as possible to make a shot to save that animal's life so the next point is reliability. Once again, going back to the whole life or death kind of reality of ranch trucks and stuff, it's important to have a gun that's not gonna fail you, that's not going to uh, be to break or not chamber around, failure to fire, any type of reliability issue. It's really important to have a gun that is extremely reliable. And actually, both of these guns are very reliable guns. Uh, you know, everyone that knows an AK knows how reliable they are, and everyone that has really ran into a Winchester 94 knows just how reliable they are for lever guns. So the next and last point is kind of where we bridge away from the 94 and go to the AK, and that is in effectiveness. And I broke effectiveness down into three key points. The first is stopping power, and what I mean by this is the gun needs to have a sufficient amount of or the round that it fires needs to have a sufficient amount of pound foot energy to stop whatever predator is attacking them, be it a bear, a wolf, a coyote, a fox. Another factor that I looked at when going for the 30 caliber round is the fact that with the 30 caliber round, you don't necessarily have to shoot the animal into the vital zones of the body, whereas you would have to do that with a smaller caliber bullet. Something like a 223 is very good, but really only if you hit it into the vitals. Whereas with a 30 caliber round, you're pushing quite a bit more force and you're pushing a larger bullet. So even if you have to shoot the animal just to stop it from attacking your animals in the hind end or the hind quarter or in the shoulder or an area that's non-vitals, it's still going to deliver enough power to debilitate and or kill that animal even, like I said, though it's not in the vital zone. Because I think the primary difference between having a ranch rifle for hunting, you know, or a ranch truck gun, or ranch rifle, is for protection over hunting. Hunting is a secondary capacity for these guns, and both of them can do quite a good job, but that's a secondary capacity. The first capacity is protections. So that's primarily what we're looking for. Now, the next two areas of effectiveness are where the AK take the lead in my regards, and that is rate of fire and uh, capacity of magazine. So rate of fire 
definitely is the AK. I mean, it's a semi-automatic auto-loading rifle. So as fast as you can squeeze the trigger is as fast as the AK will fire. Whereas with the lever gun, you know, the 94, it's still pretty fast because, you know, it's still a lever gun and as fast as you rack the lever is as fast as it will fire. So those are the top reasons why I was led to the AK. And I also like some of the other things I like, though these aren't main points, are the budget. I got this for $575, so it was not too shabby as far as the budget goes. And I like the modularity of the rifle, being that you can put slings on it, you can put muzzle brakes, you can put magazines of different capacities in it. It has a lot of versatility, but those are all kind of side tangents. So lastly, and the last point I will say, because there are many ranchers in many countries and states that don't allow this type of scary black rifle. So for legality reasons, my top choice would go to the 94. And the primary reason goes back to portability. This 94, even though it does have a 20 inch barrel, still has about, it's an inch longer, but about the same overall length as this AK and for me that's really important because once again the top function is if you can't get your rifle out of your truck how you expect to stop something that's attacking your animals you can't so that's the number one point for me so the next thing is it does have good capacity at seven rounds and of course like I said the firepower or the follow-up shots are just you know a lever action pretty fast faster than a bolt action faster definitely than a single shot and so on and so forth so that's why it scores pretty highly for me and if I had to choose a legality factor like if I couldn't have something that had a pistol grip or this expandable 30 or detachable 30 round magazine it would definitely go to the Winchester 94 so that's basically all I have to say on ranch rifles ultimately you do have to find what works for you hopefully these points though help you guys get a clear understanding of just what's valuable in a ranch truck rifle at least for me these were the most valuable parts to a ranch truck rifle anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out